Welcome back everyone and we're going to do a little mob Dark Souls uh, potter around in Ula Seal. So we are back where we killed Artor... well, not killed, where we basically murdered Artorius. Don't think I took a single hit. We'll worry about who you are once I've got to bonfire. Because apparently I forgot to light the bonfire. Two directions. Sit. Let's kindle this bitch. Now, I'm pretty sure the next area is... Is it Ulusil Township? It's been a while since I've watched any Let's Plays for this shit. Fully kindled. I do know this bitch... ...drops items if you kill her. You... ...is that not... The soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wished it would you be willing to... No! Yes, of course. Artorius would not have approved. <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please. Then I shall do the same. <laughs> Whoa! That's probably more easy. Cause I'm good. Humans, my dead. Yeah, 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 Was getting me nowhere. Actually, was magic in that? So, good call. Good call. Might as well use a couple of levels. That'll do. Oh. I reckon I'm one more slot away from being fine. Although I am starting to get over leveled. The gazebo. Oh, this is PvP, isn't it? I remember reading about this. We'll worry about that a bit later. Is that PvP? what we got up here. It might be a bit stop-start with this recording just because I'm off to the gym in about 30-40 minutes. So I'll probably finish up whatever when I get back. I'm going to hopefully leave it in the exact same place. Oh, that was to goth. Damn, I don't have a key. Right, so he helps with Calamit. As in, I don't think... Is Calamit doable without talking to him? Because Calamit just flies around until you talk to him. I think it does come in a land, but like only very rarely. Calamite is the probably the boss I'm looking least favourite to on this game. Least favourite to, least forward to. <laughs> Losing the ability to fucking speak. 
Right. What we got. No, thank you. It's a whole gaggle of these bastards. Gage and poo. Gage. Uh oh. Result will take it. Fucking hell, some. I've got to be really careful because I don't want to die. Putting it bluntly. Mm. Okay. So that looks like it. Bring it to one on one. As with most things, I should be fine as long as I don't let myself get outnumbered. Oh, fuck! Fellow sorcerer. Bloated head, what do they do? Soul of a brave warrior. Don't want to engage these on such uncertain footing. I was aware of this in this area. You asshole! Silver pendant. Now, where did he come from in here, clearly?
assholes. Shouldn't laugh, bitch. I hit him. Oh! Oh. Okay, he got me through the floor. I thought I was safe, so I didn't. Uh, uh, so I didn't hurry out of there at all. Not mad. Sorcery is a legit tactic. I have to be aware that that goes through claws, though. Call the herd. Titanite. We're all about that. Ow. Was it here there was a sorcerer around this corner? You little dickhead. Excellent. We're getting some difficulty in this DLC, even if it is just the normal mobs. I was getting worried after spanking Artorius. Even have to get serious. Shield up. Had finished my exploration down here, bitches. So I believe I had to roll across here, and all the enemies came from in here. Is that correct?
shit. They'd be so much more annoying if they didn't leave themselves wide open. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. Dark Orb! That's what I'm talking about. Bye bye. How do I get back up? God, it's so dark. I'm struggling. Right, we dropped across there, so now we continue this way. Just met it. So that way leads back that way. Guarding something good. <laughs> God. Right, just for the sake of my mental map. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cha, cha, cha. Okay. Holmes, this explains much. Have a nice slice of fuck you.
alright, bitch. I didn't want to fire and, and lock on as well. Firing at all. Assholes. Come on, you fucks. The sorceresses are the dangerous ones. Pull them out of position. I'm running out of firepower. Dark fog. That must have been the other one they hit me with that poisoned me. Soul of a hero. Fuck, I need a bonfire soon though. I'm... Nearly out of firepower. Cast light lasting longer than planned. Not complaining. Yeah, I really need a bonfire, boys. Oh, activate that shortcut. I know already where that's going. <clears throat> right back to the top which might be where I have to leave it if I'm uh, because I literally am going to the gym at some point uh, I'm just literally waiting for my message to set off Retreat! Retreat! Oh. 
Oh, feck, I rolled right into him. Bastard! I can't have been too far. Nope. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm just checking if I've got my message. So I haven't checked in like half an hour. Oh, for fuck's sake. In fact, to be on the safe side, that is where I'm leaving it. So I'll have to, even if I haven't got that message, I need to get my shit together anyway. So I will be back and we'll finish up. Uh, I want to try and get this done today, so... Hopefully this will be ready uh, by the time I go on holiday, but if not, oh well. But yeah, back in a moment. Well, it'll seem like a moment to you guys. You get my point. Welcome back. So, unfortunately, I didn't get this done in time to clip together before I went on holiday. And as the further cock up I knocked my mic out before resuming recording so I'm doing the commentary retroactively so pick it up at the Ulysseal Township and my first order of business is to retrieve my souls so I'm not taking any chances I'm going to use all my firepower these enemies don't seem too bad they're just Annoying if you allow them to get ra uh, too many on you. And we did pop the shortcut. So I wasn't sure originally where my souls dropped. Before deducing that they probably were in the building to the left. So once again, not taking any chances. The homing soul master and the shield. Yeah, so bait out these guys. Motherfucker. Nice. So the problem I have in here is there's two sorcerers that can fire on me. One of them's up there in a blind spot and the other one's down at the end. But the thing is, they can both hit me at the same time. I think that's how I got into problems. So I need to take care of the top one. while at the same time avoiding the one on the ground floor. So I'm just trying to bait him into a position where I can ta lock on. But that's the danger. While focusing on the one at the top, I got clanked by the one at the bottom. Yep. So th <laughs> that was my first attempt. <laughs> but you can see the problem I've got. If I could lock onto the top one easily, it wouldn't be a problem. And I feel for melee players here, to be honest. But I had a problem with it. So we'll just get back down.
Right, so we're back down. I'm gonna give it another attempt. Deal with these fuckers at the door again. I just deal with him with the great sword. Not taking chances, firing off soul spears. So my second attempt saw me try and position between the pillar to deal with the one at the top, I think. Just be searching for a lock on, which we've got. Almost paid for it, but I'm going to run out, heal up. It should be a lot more straightforward from here because now I can position behind the pillars. Now we can t just deal with the sorcerer. They're not that bad on the when they're on their own. Just let the homing soul mass do the job. So it was at this point I noticed th uh, this doorway, which I didn't go through last time. Don't really need some green titanite shards. I've got but tons of them while I was farming the depths for humanity. So we're going up this new doorway that I didn't go through last time. Deal with that guy. So I can see the guy in there. And I can see the chest. Not quite done yet. So I noticed the drop there. What I should have done there is just take him out. End up wasting spells. You can't waste spells. So he's run off. So that I've just assumed that he'd probably drop down somewhere and climb up. So, yeah, there he is. One hundred percent stability shield from start of the game. Still putting in loads of work. I don't really use a lot of shields on this. Uh, I do use my shield, but I, once you've got one hundred percent stability, only really I think the glass crest shield is useful. Other than that. Okay, so we're just having another explore round. Probably should have been silent, tried to get the backstab, but oh well. So I could see another chest. And the only assumption was there's some sort of secret shortcut. And it is a good thing I knew about the cast that some of the secret doors in here require cast light. Interesting dynamic. Well, it's either cast light or some sort of light thing, so a torch or a skull lantern or the uh, some like maggot. So we get the red chunk, which will be useful for when I make a fire weapon towards the end of the game. take a chance and we get this so I look at the chain because you've got to look at the chain notice it's a mimic take out the mimic 
we get rewarded with the crest key. One more of these dickheads. Right, so that's the upper area is clear and I just need to work my way back down. Okay, so this is the area I got fucked in last time, uh, earlier on. So I know that there's going to be extra assholes that jump out, as well as two sorcerers, so I need to be very careful on this approach, which I am, so I lure them out. It leaves the three. Again, using the pillars for strategic approach. I wouldn't even want to think how annoying this is as melee. Although, you could probably handle it as a dex build with the Dragon Slayer bow quite comfortably. Just as comfortably. If anything, You've got more range to play with. So I do see some snacky ass fucker down at the back. Panic as I realise I'm out of homie soul mass. So he's got a lot of health, but look at all the firepower I've got. Sweet. <laughs> Chain set. And with that, that's the Ulusil Township more or less done, if memory serves. I am recording this audio after the episode. Oh, yeah, I've completely forgot about that guy. That guy caught me out. But look at him get fecked there. And again. And there's a nice safe bonfire. Which I didn't kindle? Why did I not kindle that? So I do know just from watching Let's Plays and Guides over the years that Dark Bead is right at the entrance to this area. So I'm going to go get that first. The notorious spell Dark Bead. Of a fucking so we're just going to take out the uh, enemies surrounding it well we're going to try and take out the enemies surrounding it I'm going to try and retreat only to get smacked in the back by the sorcerer <laughs> look how far away he hit me from I probably took on far more than I could chew there. Right, so same again, but being a bit more careful this time. <laughs> it's 
definitely in terms of positional, it sort of resembles Dark Souls 2 a lot more than Dark Souls 1 in terms of enemy placement. Because enemy placement in Dark Souls 1 doesn't really focus on multiple enemies, it's more of a Dark Souls 2 trait. Not that there aren't areas with multiple enemies, but it becomes very apparent if, when you play, for example, the Lost Bastille in Dark Souls 2. Whereas a lot of enemies in Dark Souls are sort of placed so that it's one-on-one, -on -one, two on one, not really four, five on one. I'm just trying to think if there's any exceptions to that rule. Mm. Maybe Lost Islith. But there's not many areas where there's low Oh, and the bone wheel skeletons are always a bit like that. In fact, a, f a few places in uh, the painted world as well, but for the most part, it's more dealing with enemies sequentially rather than multiple at once. Whereas Dark Souls 2 is the <laughs> complete opposite. It's here's a load of enemies, see if you can get round them. I, uh, I did watch an interesting video near the time, uh, near the time. Uh, a little while ago, going over the differences for uh, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, and enemy placement and behaviour was one of the main differences. The other one was that Dark Souls 2 has a lot of what feel really tacked on bosses. I'm sure you can all think of a couple of examples of bosses that Dark Souls 2 probably didn't need. The gluttony demon thing. For one, what a useless boss. So, I do have 53k in souls, which I'm now going to spend. I don't need levels, so I'm not really going to invest in a level. What I'm going to do is get the boss weapons. Uh, boss weapons, uh, try that again. The boss armor that I haven't touched, which does mean I'll have to beat the hardest boss in the game in order to get them. So I'm just going to cull the herd. Don't want any distractions. Right, so now we can approach a fucking difficult boss. And it is this jump. The amount of times I've fucked up this jump over the years. So, yep, we'll just make it. I haven't bothered to come here yet, so I'm going to grab this Ring of Sacrifice. Aye, Shemai. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to talk to him to see if there's anything there. Hmm. Nothing. So Gold Pine Resin is actually quite useful, but I, d I don't rely on it. Pretty much nothing that I need. But we're going to look at the armour. We could buy all this sweet Artorius gear that I can't use. So we've got a few options. But I'm just going to buy Smo set first. Because if I new game plus, I'll have to get Ornstein set for the matching weapons and stoof. Buy a piece of Artorius's armor and a piece of the Golem's armor Thank to spend upon our souls. I have this. And now the jump back. <laughs> nice, nailed it. The amount of times I've misjudged that jump though is ridiculous. But yeah, so that's the Ulysseal Township done. I do realise that this guy then has some stuff I need, but we'll have to wait for another time. Gonna do a bit of grinding between now and the next ones just to get some souls for just spell, not really levels, just spells that I ain't got and bits and pieces I haven't got. So I do just buy one of them here just to get that done. 
but yeah, that's the Eulis Hill Township done. Uh, we've got a couple of areas now we can use the Crest Key, I think it was called. Or we can continue with the Chasm of the Abyss. But that's it for Dark Souls, so... I do apologise about the lack of on-the-spot audio, <laughs> but at least it wasn't silent. So, thank you for watching. This will probably go up on Thursday, and I'll see you next time.